William Hewell F.R.S. F.G.S. was an English polymath, scientist, Anglican priest, philosopher, theologian, and historian of science. He was Master of Trinity College, Cambridge. In his time as a student there, he achieved distinction in both poetry and mathematics. What is most often remarked about Hewell is the breadth of his endeavors. At a time when men of science were becoming increasingly specialized, Hewell appears as a vestige of an earlier era when men of science dabbled in a bit of everything. He researched ocean tides, published work in the disciplines of mechanics, physics, geology, astronomy, and economics. In mathematics, Hewell introduced what is now called the Hewell equation, an equation defining the shape of a curve without reference to an arbitrarily chosen coordinate system. One of Hewell's greatest gifts to science was his wordsmithing. He often corresponded with many in his field and helped them come up with new terms for their discoveries. Hewell contributed the terms scientist, physicist, consilience, catastrophism, and uniformitarianism. Amongst others, Hewell suggested the terms ion, dielectric, anode, and cathode to Michael Faraday. Hewell died in Cambridge in 1866 as a result of a fall from his horse. Life in career. Hewell was born in Lancaster. His father, a carpenter, wished him to follow his trade. But his success in mathematics at Lancaster and Heversham Grammar Schools won him an exhibition at Trinity College, Cambridge. In 1814 he was awarded the Chancellor's Gold Medal for Poetry. He was second wrangler in 1816, president of the Cambridge Union Society in 1817, became fellow and tutor of his college, and, in 1841, succeeded Dr. Christopher Wordsworth as master. He was professor of mineralogy from 1828 to 1832 and Knightbridge professor of philosophy from 1838 to 1855. Hewell died in Cambridge in 1866 as a result of a fall from his horse. He is buried in the Mill Road Cemetery, Cambridge, together with his first and second wives, Cordelia Hewell and Everina Francis, Lady Affleck, endeavours tracing the history and development of science for all these pursuits. It comes as no surprise that his best-known works are two voluminous books which attempt to map and systematize the development of the sciences, History of the Inductive Sciences and the Philosophy of the Inductive Sciences, founded upon their history. While the history traced how each branch of the sciences had evolved since antiquity, Hewell viewed the philosophy as the moral of the previous work as it sought to extract a universal theory of knowledge through the history he had just traced. In the philosophy, Hewell attempted to follow Francis Bacon's plan for discovery of an effectual art of discovery. He examined ideas and by the colligation of facts, endeavored to unite these ideas with the facts and so construct science. But no art of discovery, such as Bacon anticipated, follows, for, invention, sagacity, genius are needed at each step. Fuel's three steps of induction Hewell analyzed inductive reasoning into three steps. The selection of the idea, such as space, number, cause, or likeness. The formation of the conception, or more special modification of those ideas, as a circle, a uniform force, etc., and the determination of magnitudes. Upon these follow special methods of induction applicable to quantity, the method of curves, the method of means, the method of least squares and the method of residues, and special methods depending on resemblance such as the method of gradation and the method of natural classification. In philosophy of the inductive sciences Hewell was the first to use the term consilience to discuss the unification of knowledge between the different branches of learning. Opponent of English empiricism here, as in his ethical doctrine, Hewell was moved by opposition to contemporary English empiricism. Following Immanuel Kant, he asserted against John Stuart Mill the a priori nature of necessary truth, and by his rules for the construction of conceptions he dispensed with the inductive methods of Mill. Fuel's neologisms are stated, one of Fuel's greatest gifts to science was his wordsmithing. 
He often corresponded with many in his field and helped them come up with new terms for their discoveries. In fact, Hewell came up with the term scientist itself in 1833, and it was first published in Fuel's anonymous 1834 review of Mary Somerville's On the Connection of the Physical Sciences published in the Quarterly Review, Work in College Administration. Hewell was prominent not only in scientific research and philosophy, but also in university and college administration. His first work, An Elementary Treatise on Mechanics, cooperated with those of George Peacock and John Herschel in reforming the Cambridge method of mathematical teaching. His work and publications also helped to influence the recognition of the moral and natural sciences as an integral part of the Cambridge curriculum. In general, however, especially in later years, he opposed reform. He defended the tutorial system, and in a controversy with Connop Thirlwall, opposed the admission of dissenters, he upheld the clerical fellowship system, the privileged class of fellow commoners, and the authority of heads of colleges in university affairs. He opposed the appointment of the University Commission, and wrote two pamphlets against the reform of the university. He stood against the scheme of entrusting elections to the members of the Senate and instead, advocated the use of college funds and the subvention of scientific and professorial work. He was elected Master of Trinity College, Cambridge in 1841, and retained that position until his death in 1866. He is buried in the chapel of Trinity College. Cambridge while his wives are buried together there in the Mill Road Cemetery, Cambridge. The Hewell Professorship of International Law and the Hewell Scholarships were established through the provisions of his will. Hewell's interests in architecture Aside from science, Hewell was also interested in the history of architecture throughout his life. He is best known for his writings on Gothic architecture, specifically his book, Architectural Notes on German Churches. In this work, Hewell established a strict nomenclature for German Gothic churches and came up with a theory of stylistic development. His work is associated with the scientific trend of architectural writers, along with Thomas Rickman and Robert Willis. He paid from his own resources for the construction of two new courts of rooms at Trinity College, Cambridge, built in a Gothic style. The two courts were completed in 1860 and 1868, and are now collectively named Fuel's Court. Fuel's works in philosophy and morals. Between 1835 and 1861 Hewell produced various works on the philosophy of morals and politics, the chief of which elements of morality, including polity, was published in 1845. The peculiarity of this work, written from what is known as the intuitional point of view, is its five-fold division of the springs of action and of their objects of the primary and universal rights of man, and of the cardinal virtues. Among Fuel's other works, too numerous to mention, were popular writings such as the Third Bridgewater Treatise Astronomy and General Physics, considered with reference to natural theology, and the essay of the plurality of worlds, in which he argued against the probability of life on other planets and also the Platonic Dialogues for English Readers, the Lectures on the History of Moral Philosophy in England, the Essay of a Liberal Education in General, with particular reference to the leading studies of the University of Cambridge, the important edition in abridged translation of Hugo Grotius, the Jury Belliac Pacis, and the edition of the mathematical works of Isaac Barrow. Hewell was one of the Cambridge dons whom Charles Darwin met during his education there, and when Darwin returned from the Beagle voyage he was directly influenced by Hewell, who persuaded Darwin to become secretary of the Geological Society of London. The title pages of On the Origin of Species open with a quotation from Fuel's Bridgewater treatise about science founded on a natural theology of a creator establishing laws but with regard to the material world. 
we can at least go so far as this, we can perceive that events are brought about not by insulated interpositions of divine power, exerted in each particular case, but by the establishment of general laws, works by Huell Review of J. Herschel's Preliminary Discourse on the Study of Natural Philosophy, Quarterly Review 90. 374-407. Astronomy and general physics considered with reference to natural theology. Cambridge. Elementary Treatise on Mechanics, 5th edition, 1st edition 1819. History of the Inductive Sciences, from the earliest to the present times. 3 vols. London. 2nd ed. 1847. Volume 1. Volume 2. Volume 3. 3rd ed. 1857, 1st German ed. 1840-41, The Philosophy of the Inductive Sciences, founded upon their history, 2 vols, London, 2nd ed. 1847, Volume 1, Volume 2, The Elements of Morality, including Polity, 2 vols, London, Volume 1, Volume 2, Lectures on Systematic Morality, London, of Induction, with a special reference to Misty, J. Stuart Mill's System of Logic, London, Mathematical Exposition of Some Doctrines of Political Economy, Second Memoir, Transactions of the Cambridge Philosophical Society 9-128-49, Lectures on the History of Moral Philosophy, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, Hugonis Grotii de Jury Belli a Pacis Libri Tres, accompanied by an abridged translation by William Hewell, London, John W. Parker, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, of the Plurality of Worlds, London, Spedding's Complete Edition of the Works of Bacon, Edinburgh Review 106-287-322. The History of Scientific Ideas, 2 vols, London, Nova Morgan on Renovatum, London, on the Philosophy of Discovery, Chapters Historical and Critical, London, Plato's Republic, Cambridge, 6 Lectures on Political Economy, Cambridge, Additional Lectures on the History of Moral Philosophy, Cambridge, Compton Positivism, Macmillan's Magazine 13-353-62, Honours and Recognitions, The Crater, Huell on the Moon, The Gothic Buildings Known as Fuel's Court in Trinity College, Cambridge, The Huell Mineral Gallery in the Sedgwick Museum of Earth Sciences, Cambridge, The Mineral Fuelite. The Debating Society of Lancaster Royal Grammar School is named the Huell Society in honor of Huell being an old Lancastrian.